In this video, we continue our adventures on the stunning York Peninsula in South Australia, Daly Head and the gorgeous Berry Bay. It's another absolutely stunning morning, mate. I'm absolutely pumped. I opened the door this morning and like, look at this. I had a magic day yesterday, surfing with the kids. It was really freaking cool. Not much swell coming for the next few days, so we're gonna go exploring, mate. It's nice and early, I've got my little coffee. Miriam's in bed, so we'll get her up shortly. We'll have some breakfast, and I wanna take you guys to pretty much what I think is probably some of the best beaches on the York Peninsula. Time to enjoy this coffee, soak up this amazing morning, and um, we'll get on the road and show you guys around, hey? So has anybody seen or remember the old Energizer batteries ad with the little Energizer bunny? That's my little Energizer bunny right there. So got her out of bed and she's just straight into it, no bugging around. So I'm just gonna sit here and eat my scrambled eggs on a homemade sourdough while Energizer bunny finishes and then we'll, we'll get going, eh? We'll go check out these amazing spots that I was telling you about. Done now? Yes, I'm done. Can we go explore now? Yep. Have your batteries run out? Yep. They have run out? Yeah. I don't believe it at all, hey. I do not believe that your batteries are flat. Not even close. Well, they'll recharge in about 20 minutes. Mm. Currently, my heart's With a coffee or just your natural high natural. on life? Yeah, naturally high on life. Mm. Man. All right, we're finally going. Oh, Energizer Bunny is finally finished. Greg's finally gotten out of bed, mate. 10 o'clock before this guy gets out of bed. Oh, mate, we're already doing schoolwork. Poor Donna has been up since 5 o'clock <laughs> doing the schoolwork with the kids. And cooking and cleaning. And cooking and cleaning. Hang on, come here, come here, come, At here, least... come, here, come, here. No, come here, come here. Just got to wipe all the off your lip. <laughs> Crap off my lip. First stop, Corny Point General Store. So apparently the first stop is the Corny Point General Store because we need, we're in urgent need of some supplies. Miriam, what are you getting again? Pepperoni Urgent stop, gotta get pepperoni. Holliers, Thong. what do you need to get? Thongs. They need to get thongs. Now that is urgent. It is, the kids have got no shoes. Yeah, the kids have got no shoes. Mmm, <laughs> cold beer. How'd you go getting your pepperoni? No, oh, I was excited, but that's... Why'd you get these big sticks here? Look. They're usually spicy. Oh, stop being a girl. Is there pepperoni? Gluten-free, met worst garlic. Show me. And fermented pepperoni. Ooh. Just grab it. I'm going to like, grab one of each. Donna? It doesn't matter. You know them spare Makita thongs I got? Yep. Well, you're going to give me 10 bucks 10 for bucks it? 10 bucks for your Makita thongs. 25 bucks near yours, mate. <laughs> 25 bucks. Addy, you're gonna wear these pink ones for seven dollars. Show us a look, Jakey. Do you like oh, them? Oh, mate. They Australia Day thongs. How, oh, how yeah. Aussie is that? What do you reckon? <laughs> Sienna. Sienna, oh, can you try them on? I reckon they are you. Show us a look. Oh, that is you, mate. Show us a look again in the light. Yeah, that's you, mate. That is you. Done. Shopping is done. We can now. Go and explore. Look. <laughs> look at this, guys. Look at Greg's truck here. What's what's going on here, Greg? Look what's oh, Jabers. Oh, She's come a gutsa, mate. Oh, dear. I reckon Time he to go visit off road creative. Time to go visit off road creative and laser lamps, Greg. I reckon. Brad. <laughs> so we're going to show the guys where we're going, hey? Um, Can you get me the Garmin, please? I don't know, will you just put that in the fridge? It's very awkward. So we are camped right here at Daily Head. You can see where the flag is. So what we're doing is 
we're coming all the way up. You can see we're here, we're at Corny Point. So Corny Point Lighthouse, and we run all the way down here. This is Berry Bay or Berry Beach, whatever it is. Absolutely stunning. This whole coastline from Corny all the way down to Daly and even further down is absolutely stunning. So this is the peak of the coastline. I think this is probably the best. So we're gonna take you guys up to the amazing lighthouse. We've been here before, it's stunning, and this entire beach has big cliffs here that overlooks. Mate, it is like seriously A grade. So are we done? 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 <laughs> he got you again. Bastard got me again. <laughs> yeah. Good one, Greg. And we'll take you up to the lighthouse first and give you a run all the way down there. And I believe there is some um, information boards for you, honey. So you're going to be very, very excited. Let's go. <sighs> Mate, he got me, eh? He got me with my own medicine, the bugger. Whew. Just got to get my heart back. Now I know what everyone feels like. I promise I'm going to stop beeping the horn now. You're a liar. <laughs> no way. Now that I've felt it, it's even more, more know, of an excuse just, to get people. You don't just hear it, you feel it. You feel it, yeah. All right, let's go to Corny. So check this out. This is a bit of a common thing on the York Peninsula and the Air Peninsula. See all the boys with their tractors? That's how they launch their boats off the beach. How cool would that be, not having to worry about, you know, rusting or getting bogged with those massive wheels on the back? Yeah, I don't think they're gonna hit the hubs. No. See, honey, that's why we need to have 45 inch wheels on the truck. 45 inch Not 37s, wheels. dude, boring. Well, you wanna launch your boat? Yeah, oh, and by the way, honey, you're gonna get really excited this, are you ready for it? Mm. There's a lot of information just over there, hey? At that little thing imaging over there. Oh, okay, bye. It's over here with the information boards with me. I don't read them out. I'll hold the camera. You do it so well, Miriam. Cool, and what is this? Uh, this is the walk, the York, from Corny Point to Point Turton. That sounds like a long walk. How long do, is it? There what you go. Does it say? Two hours, 44, seven hours and 56. Oh, my lordy lord. It's an eight hour walk. Donna. I don't think I can make you that. Ready? You ready? Got your walking shoes on? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'll make that. No. Could I kayak it instead? Probably. Yeah. I'd say so. I'd like that. And this here is the Wheat Stacks Historical Photographic Display. So, Hello. Sorry, shake hands. Would you say we're even now? Is Donna an information board reader -er as well? No. no. Let's <laughs> shake hands. <laughs> she says she prefers to look at the pictures. She got too. me good with the horn, hey? We're not doing horn stuff anymore. We're even, yeah? Well, well, <laughs> Donna, why are you say that? <laughs> All right. Well, since you're here, darling, would you like to... Have a bit of a look, what's going on? No, you gotta start snoring again. Well, it's pretty easy. You just start here and you go farming. The wheat stacks. Pictures of the oh, wheat stacks. Oh, yeah, modern. And then, oh, that's lightering. Lightering? What's lightering? That's, I've never heard of that word before, but. There you go, look at this. So it's the old, like the tractors, but with the old carts going out to so the ocean. So bagged wheat and barley were carted from the wheat stacks to the lighter dinghy, then rode out and loaded onto the catch. The catchers then took the grain onto Port Victoria where it was shipped around the world. Lightering. Oh, here's the next one, camping. Camping. Look. Ready to set the pot at Gleason's. Lots of places to camp. Oh, look at the size of that. Are we gonna show them Gleason's this afternoon? What? Oh, maybe, that's a, that's a doozer. Look at that thing, that's a horse. Crayfish catch in the pot, oh. fishing crays. Look at the car. Great car that. and good mates. Daily head. There you go. Look at that. It never changes, does it? Nah. Great cars, good mates. Crayfish. That will never, ever change. Surely. So this is the Dunn Point barbecue shelter, if you were interested. Corner Point post office. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the locals on their horse and cart. Oh, it's so cool, isn't it? The old stuff. I love the it. The original Corny Port school. Look at that. Just... Oh, here we go. Here's the lighthouse, honey. First go. exhibited on the 1st of March, 1882. The lighthouse keepers and their families lived in the two cottages. There you go. The two cottages, were yes. they? Fishing at North Berry. Looks like the lady has a tangled line. <laughs> oh, you're such a... You're like a little narrator. Like a... What do they call them? A narrator. A narrator, yeah. A narrator. <laughs> lighthouse decorated for Armistice Day. High fence. Enjoying the rock pools. Tentatively testing the water at Lighthouse Bay. Oh, come on, let's go. Let's I think go. we should go and do these should... things ourselves. It's actually probably one of the best lighthouses I've seen because of the surrounding it... and the little bay and stuff around it, the easy ac accessibility of it. So... I don't know, I reckon that one, it was at Port Lincoln National Park. Oh, Port Lincoln, it looked like a jail tower. That was a pretty good lighthouse, that one. How'd you go? Have you had your little information board fix? 
there. They were actually nice. And there were pictures on all of them, so you would have appreciated that as well. Yeah. Photos oh, think... and words well, let me together. Let put some light on you, honey. Oh, that's better. Is it? Yeah. All right, we're going? This is something we don't see every day. I'm talking and filming, and so is Greg. Yeah. Greg's so, talking and filming. Are you, are you filming me filming you? We're filming each other filming each I'm other. I'm going to walk with my arms around both of these gentlemen. Awkward. So, oh, awkward. Look, at, look at the Flash guy here, by the way. We're what? running the GH5. Look at old Mr. Flash man here running the GH6. Well, you get that, hey. Mm. How good's this? Guys, we've been traveling with these guys on and off the last couple of years. It's been absolutely awesome, absolute legends. If you're, you're probably already following their channel. If not, get over there and watch that one. Yeah, you better. Bloody awesome. Yeah, you better. ADU, Aussie Destination Unknown. ADU. Miriam's fantastic. Chris O. Mm, yeah, we... Much and much. Yeah, yeah. Much tolerate. Much yes. Tolerate. <laughs> no, you, he's an absolute legend. Can you look at this camera too? Because this is the Hello. second camera. Oh, right, the second view. Can you repeat I'm, yourself? I'm confused. So we just say ditto, but in reverse. So if you're, which, not, which if you're not following Campedia, get over there and follow <laughs> Campedia. Yeah, go. yeah, follow Campedia. I was about to say, Greg, no, so much. So but, we've been traveling But his with wife, Greg. Donna. <laughs> whew, sorry, yeah. Greg, awkward. No, it's all good, mate. Awkward moment. You guys are right. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't be here to this stop here. Are we going to go to the next destination, mate? Yeah, yeah. Well, Jake, little Jacob is actually just a little crack that I think he's hanging to get in the water and go for a swim or a surf. Yeah. So we've got to go on. Is it Betty Bay? Betty Betty Beach. Betty, Betty Beach. Beach. Betty Bay. I don't even know which one it is. Berry. 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 Stop saying is Betty. Berry Springs. Isn't Betty your wife? No. Oh no, that's Donna. Sorry, that's Donna. your other wife. Or Cheryl. Cheryl. <laughs> Cheryl. Feral Cheryl. Let's so, go. Um, let's go. Let's go. Corny Point. Let's go. Oh, let's yeah. go. Let's go. See you guys. See you guys. See ya. See ya. Bye. Right, bye. 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 Greg. Yo. We had to phone in a friend, ask a friend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Friend. We've, we've got a question for you. All right, eh? And with your amazing, you athletic, <laughs> Olympian background. Oh, God, here we go. Here we go. In yachting. yachting. What is it called? Yachting. Yachting. Yogging. Yaching. Yogging. Yaching. A yachet. Okay. Are you ready for it? Oh, I'm scared. This, this is for 100 bucks, mate. It's for 100, 100 bucks. bucks. Yeah. What is the difference? between a nautical mile and a normal mile? A kilometre or a mile? Because oh, we're in Australia well, here. A nautical mile. A What's nautical mile. Is, oh, nautical... is there a difference between a nautical mile and a normal mile? I yes. It is. <laughs> there, there is. Thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> <laughs> I, between a mile and a, a nautical, nautical mile. mile. Is there a difference? There, I believe there is a difference. I think the nautical mile is actually longer than a normal mile, but by how much, I'm not sure, because I know okay. it's more than a kilometre. Yeah, okay. It's just like a knot to a to a, yeah, to not, a kilometre well, as well. Yeah, correct. Maybe it's the same difference then, I don't even know. Same, same, but different. Yeah. yeah. If you know, leave a comment in the comment section. We would love to know that, and we would probably teach Greg something yeah. too. So, there yeah. you go. 100%. We just go fast. Don't worry about measuring the speed. Just, yeah, no, just go no. fast. Oh, hang on, hang on. Hang on, Miss, Miss Google here. <laughs> what do we got here? Nautical miles. Way, surfer boy. You. Used to be All right, come on, Miss Google. Tell us. <laughs> See you, buddy. Yay. Drive safe. I know to wait until people depart to begin reading. To, to, to begin filming. All right, go ahead it. I've got oh, boogers. Got yeah, you do got a book. <laughs> Greg, did you have to tell him, mate? Oh, <laughs> Look, can the people in the, in the TV? Can the... Oh, oh, All right. Can you hurry up? My nose the is actually going running. dead, dude. Okay. Nautical miles are used to measure the distance travelled through water. <laughs> a nautical mile, so I was right as well. A nautical mile is slightly longer than a mile on land, so you were right so as Greg well. Greg was right. Equaling 1.1508 land measured or statute miles. The nautical mile is based on the Earth's longitude and latitude coordinates, with one nautical mile equaling one minute of latitude. Oh. There you go. So, so if you need to read so it... So how does that work? Because my brain just goes, hang on a second, but with the latitudes and longitudes coming to a finer point at the poles, they're closer together. I'll read it again. Can we ask a friend, Donna? Do you know? Just get me to the destination. 
latitude <laughs> coordinates with one nautical mile equaling one minute of latitude. Mm. Yep, so I get one that. One minute. His yachting brain gets that. Mine yeah, my, doesn't. my yachting brain. Yogging. Bye. Yogging. Brain. Yogging. Yogging brain. Actually, a really good question. Then, if the right, North and South Pole, all the latitudes, they all come down mm. to yes. the bottom. So they all meet at the bottom. Yeah. So if you took equator, it's going to be like this. And as the lines come down to the bottom, so does that mean is it proportionally different as it runs down? Well, that's my question. Oh, well, well, there's, am there's, I getting there's, way there's, too there's deep There's a down? graph. There's a graph. Hang on. We've got minimal reception. Oh, it's just dropped back to 3G. Sorry. Donna, did I get way too deep yeah, last I night? I think so. I think so. <laughs> But there it is, 90 degrees, 90 <sighs> times 60 yeah. degrees, 5400 equals 5400 nautical miles. Well, it, I, look, I reckon it's the same as when you're flying around the world. If you fly the way it spins, it takes you longer to get there. Yes. But you always fly anti-clockwise anti oh, the way exactly you're right. That way you get to your destination quicker. Right. So, okay. so we'll round this conversation up with... Uh, I don't know maths. We don't know anything, <laughs> but we tried working it out. Let's go to the next point, eh? Let's do or it. Or the next beach, or... I'm yeah, still, yeah. I'm still confused. <laughs> Donna and I, we are we are mother, brothers and sisters from another mother, mate. We're both this Logan. We're, we're both Logan Bogans, aren't we? We are, but don't hold that against us. We're don't. really lovable once you get we, to know us. We are us. very nice people. We really are. <laughs> Let's go, Donna. <laughs> back at Berry Bay and I do believe this is one of the most spectacular and picturesque beaches here. Now I'm filming you filming me. <laughs> I actually came up here to show you that there is a drop toilet and it is a very clean one. There are stairs, but I decided to come down here because it's right where I was, and um, I've come to a bit of a, a bit of a dead end. Looks a bit like that now. So those are the stairs over there. This is me over here. That's what I've just walked down, and that's what I've got to continue walking down. Well, I made it all the way down the bottom, along with a billion flies that won't leave me alone. But that's okay. It is beautiful down here. Berry Bay is too good to drive away, isn't it? It's too good just to look out and leave. <laughs> Way too good. So we got our swimming gear and we are going to go dive off the rocks there and um, check out how cold this water is. Yeah, but... it's going to be a bit refreshing. Oh, okay. it's going to be beautiful. We'll get away from these fucking bush sultanas. What do you think? Yeah, there's too many. Let's get them. in the water. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Baywatch, eh? Baywatch. Do you reckon you're going to stack it for YouTube? Try not to. Why not? Because it's fun for you, but it's not fun for me. Ha ha ha. I did not fall. Yeah. That's a that's a good side of you, honey. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. And I don't really break too easy. But I'm worth it. Well, that water was actually <laughs> Wasn't it? It's beautiful. Oh. It's so warm. Yeah, I can't get over it. It's really nice, actually. I cannot get over how beautiful this water is. We're going to get back in. I'm we done. are. We're going to get a bit of a swim.
Magic little midday swim. Oh, so refreshing. But look how slow it's coming out. It'd be more refreshing if it came out a bit faster. I think if we the, had a um, hose. Yeah, I think there may be PVC from where we cut the pipes. Just stuck in maybe the pump filter or something. So I'll pull the pump out in the next day or two. And, and we're going to put a hose in the truck and, and leave clear it. clear it up. Yeah, I had a hose. <laughs> and I um, left it in the van. Oops. Oh, <laughs> oh, so good, eh? This is how we turn it on and how we turn it off. Easy peasy. Order. Okay, so you can see where we've been. We've been along here, all the way up to the lighthouse. Now we are working our way back down to where we are now. We will continue this road down to Point Annie. And then from there, I think we go back into the road, back in and back out to get to Swansea, I think. This is Point Annie. Mate, look at that beach behind Miriam here. Get out of the way, man! There you go. Look at that! Look at it! This place, mate, seriously? I know. Do you love it or what? I do. It's like you go over the top or you turn around and call it, oh, oh, we're just going to stop down there. <laughs> oh, oh, we're just going to stop down there. It's now four o'clock and we've been doing this for a little while now. And we've only gone like 5Ks, I think, down yeah. the dirt road to yeah. along this coastline. We're still very, very close to our caravan. Yeah, back from Corny Point, back to our caravan, and literally, we can't stop saying, wow, we just want to go to every little bay, every little spot, and snorkel, and swim, and put the drone up, and, oh man, seriously, I'm lost for words. All I'm going to say is, wow. wow. Wow, that's it, that's you all I can say. You can definitely spend a fair bit of time here. Like we've yeah. just had one, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Know. We've just had one day. And yeah. And we've seen this. If we had like multiple days, we'd probably spend a day at that little bit where we just drove down because yeah. that was really nice. Oh, playing with your butt. Oh. Anyway, this is just wowzers. Get oh. your butts to this place. Um, and the rest, of your, I can say. the rest of your body too, because I reckon the rest of your body will like Yeah, the rest of your body probably enjoyed it as well, not just But we should butt, probably but. go because the holidays are waiting for us. Once again, we're holding them up. Whoa, we nearly hit! <laughs> he just nearly flew his drone into his antenna on his truck. That was actually pretty funny. Greg! That was pretty damn close, mate! To your, your antenna! antenna. <laughs> Miles away! Miles away. Miles away. <laughs> Greg, what's going on, mate? What are you doing? I filmed the... it before. Whoa! Oh, it it snapped off, mate. That's the brackets. Oh, bro, bro. So actually, I'll need to take that one off. That. You know what I think it's time for? A new bar. An off-road creative front bar. It is. Donna, he needs a new front bar. An off-road creative, because this is all about safety. You have a family in the back, Snap. Donna. Got, oh, has it? Yeah, you need oh. an off-road creative bar, and you need method race wheels and tyre tyres. Did, did you hear that off-road creative? Give, give, I'll give, give. I'll give, give Chris O the goods. Look what Donna gives me. <laughs> Coffee lollies. Oh, my man, there's about a million flies. I'm out of here. <laughs> Maybe you stink, Donna. Oh, that's You're from lot. Logan, though. We both stink. <laughs> Let's go back to camp and have a frothy! Oh, I, don't, I don't know what to do with this thing now. Uh, I reckon you need to get a hacksaw. I don't reckon we need to get a grinder and just grind those brackets off just to get them off before they fall off. What do you reckon? Yeah. That's the only thing we can do. We've got holes through here. Yeah, off-road creative. Brad, if you're watching, buddy, we'll be Brad, putting an order me. in. Save, save me, me, Brad, save me! Finish an epic day. What do we got going on here? Honey? Not pizza. What do we got then? At your request, quesadillas, but we don't have refried beans, so it's Shut up, look at this thing. salsa on a wrap. Yes. With chicken that I shredded in the thermomix. Mm -hmm. 
and then cheese, and because I've got nothing else, I'm giving you some capsicum and uh, some Ooh. spring onion on there. Yeah. Um, and then to make it a quesadilla and not a pizza, mm -hmm. you just put another tortilla on the top and squash it. Done, and then you just flip it, like let that. it melt, and then flip it, hey? You tr you, yeah, you have to let it turn it down, actually. It's way too hot. Mm -hmm. We're going to burn on the bottom now and not be flippable. You have to have it not at five, and it has to melt the cheese so they stick together, and then you can flip it. Otherwise, mm. when you flip it, everything falls out, which might happen now because I had it a little bit too hot. And you put lots of oil in the pan or lots of butter in the so pan. So it browns it. So it gets all really nice and crispy. Mm. And we should... Oh, do we have avocados? Because you should serve it with like guacamole and sour cream. Do we have sour cream? Um, we have avocados. That's the start. We really need to do a proper shop. We've been doing mm. dribs and drabs in small shops and it's been pretty... Not good. No, we don't have any. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Not much. Yeah, well, avocado be on it. Maybe mix the avocado in with the. But you can have sour the sour cream. cream because that's not lactose free sour cream, and my belly does not like that. So that's mm. all yours, my friend. Sweet. Anyway, that's what's right. happening for dinner. Yep. So we will not Are be. Are you pretty cooked from today? This. Um, no, I'm okay. Today was good. It was fun. It was Beautiful lots day. of time in the sun, which was really nice. Mm. Um, and in the salt water, that was nice too. And the wind stayed away which was really good and um, I believe tomorrow the wind's picking up isn't it? Mm, Westerly is where we're heading across. So it's back to the um, find shelter on the York Peninsula from the wind. So that's it's only one day though. Yeah so that's what we're doing tomorrow and then hopefully it'll pick back up again and we can go on some more adventures. So we're gonna have this feed and then we're gonna relax maybe get a bit of editing done get some work done we're gonna love you and leave you we're getting up in the morning. We are heading to the other side. We're probably going to chill out in Stenhouse Bay for a few days while we get rid of these winds because the Westleys are coming. So we'll dart back to the other side. And while we're there, we'll do Innes, eh? We're going to do Innes National Park. Yeah, we'll do Innes. We'll take the Campedia oh. crew and we'll go do Innes. And fingers crossed, I did hear that the swell's picking up a bit, so maybe we'll get a surf over there. I don't Someone know what the Westleys are going to do. but just messaged us and said if you go to Innes, there's a place called Shell Beach or something, and you walk down the stairs and directly to the left there's a rock pool. Don't follow my instructions because I'm going by memory. I can't remember. Um, but he said there's an amazing rock pool there, so yeah. maybe we can go and find that. Because yep. we went there last time and we did not find a rock pool. Or did we? No, we didn't. We it's didn't. been a while. It was a hot time. day too, remember? It was it hot was day again. It was steamed and hot, yeah. and there were no car parks anywhere because it was like a... Public yeah. holiday or something. So you stayed in the truck and I ran around filming stuff and we did a little bit yeah. together. But it was um, it wasn't ideal. It was really rushed. That's right. We had three hours of good weather. Yeah. Three so we rushed hours. it. That was right. So Before we, had, we knew the wind was picking up. The wind up, was so. picking up. Yeah. All right. I'm just starving looking at that. So we're gonna love you and leave you and we will um, see we'll you guys see in the morning. Hey. Another adventure. Hopefully with a stop off at the supermarket on the way because I'd really like some more cheese for yeah, my pizzas that I haven't we'll, cooked yet. We'll stop in Marion. Yes. I just need some more pizza supplies. How's dinner, Holliers? Is it A grade? Oh, you look great, Sienna. What do you got it's on? Like That's a, a weird looking hat you got there. I'm a spur. Oh, spur. Well, look at this. We've got the Holliers having dinner. We've got an absolutely sensational afternoon. Look at that. This is what we're going to watch. This is going to be our uh, view while we have dinner tonight. And... Alright, give it He's to me. He's insisting on filming my failure. Give me my dinner. I don't know how I'm going to get it on. Like, Just flip it on. You know what, I'm just going to do it like that. Oh, you're going to burn the board. Be quick, be quick, be quick, be quick. And there's oil going to go everywhere, so... Quick, get it off. Oh! <laughs> there you go. Magic. Look at that. I just realised I didn't put any hot sauce in it for you. I can put some hot sauce on top after I put the avocado on that on. All good. All good. Got this. You goat chases a thousand farts. Oh, yeah, look at that. All right. Sweet. Good time. We've said good night four times now, so. Say good night. Good night.